Hello students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Introduction to Quantitative Chemistry module. This is the last section in this module and we're going to be focusing in this section on gases and the behaviour of particles of gases. So let's start it off. The first thing that we need to do when we're going to be describing gases is to get a, a little bit of a picture in our heads of what we're actually talking about. So if we think about a container, and in this container there are a number of particles. The important thing about the particles is these particles are in motion. They move in straight lines but in random directions. There's no particular reason why they should move anywhere in particular. Um, and their rate of movement or the speed of movement is related to their temperature. So there's going to be a couple of important variables that we can look at as we go through our discussion of the behaviour of different gases. One thing that we need to, to do is recall some of the, um, I guess, some of the junior science that you may have um, forgotten by now, which is uh, a very important theory called the kinetic theory of gases. Kinetic theory suggests that we have something that's in motion. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. And the theory is a way of explaining the different behaviour that we see in gases on the basis of what's happening as these particles are in motion. So to set us up initially, I guess what we've got to do is uh, draw a distinction between gases, liquids and solids. So the one key thing about liquids and solids is that there are intermolecular forces. That is, or we possibly could even call them interparticle forces. Because we know sometimes we have an ionic or a metallic or a covalent network. And so these are covalent ionic or metallic bonds that need to be broken in order for these particles to be moving with sufficient energy to be independent of one another. In molecules, we know that there are intramolecular forces and also intermolecular forces. The intramolecular bonds keep the molecules together and preserve their integrity, while the intermolecular forces are overcome in order that the particles can move independent from one another. So when we're describing gases and the behaviour of gases, we need to focus on their speed, which is related to their temperature, the amount of space around them, which is their volume, the amount of space between them, which is really, I guess, looking more at collisions, both between the particles and also with the walls of the container, which we refer to as pressure, and the actual number of particles themselves, which is the number of moles. As we go through, as I said, we're going to be focusing on the kinetic theory of uh, matter, but particularly kinetic theory of gases. Theories are things that help us to explain scientific phenomena. Okay, They're not a hierarchy. They're not a, we know a little bit about this, but it's not really a proven law. Theories and laws are two very different concepts in, in science. And theories are our explanation for what we see. Laws are the mathematical relationships. And most of this topic is going to be about the different laws that relate to the behaviour of gases. But the kinetic theory is what helps us to explain our observations and explain why these laws hold in ideal situations. And in fact, in many real situations too. So what we're going to be doing through this topic is looking at a number of different videos that focus on particular laws that show mathematical relationships between those different variables of temperature, volume, pressure and number of moles and also um, how our kinetic theory can be used to explain each of these different interactions. This is just an introduction to give you an idea of the sorts of variables that we'll be looking at when we're describing the behaviour of gases and why it's important sometimes for us to consider what might happen to two particular variables when we hold to others constant. And this is what we will be looking at in future videos. Thanks for watching.